Are we trapped in a simulation? The Matrix presents a scenario where humanity is imprisoned in a simulation so advanced that it is impossible to differentiate between reality and fantasy. But what would you think if I told you that reality could be even more terrible than what we see in the movies? What if we are the wardens of the mental prisons we have created for ourselves? Today we will be talking about the birth of our Matrix, from which we will never escape, a solipsistic reality. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Imagine traveling 30 years into the future. Humanity has developed the technology to connect directly to people's brains, modifying every aspect of memories and perceptions. It's now possible to take a brain, place it into a jar, connect it to a computer, and simulate reality. The brain, connected to a computer, would experience its entire life as if it were real, but in truth, it lives a false reality created by that advanced computer. Would you have any way of knowing? The brain in the jar theory suggests that there is no way to know if our brain is hooked up to a computer, experiencing a simulation designed to fool us. So how could we differentiate between reality and fantasy if all our senses are being manipulated about what is real? Take dreams for example. Most of the time we are unaware that we are in a dream. We often realize that we are dreaming by remembering our real lives or by finding contradictions in the dream. But what would happen if we had been dreaming since birth, and the world of dreams is the only thing that we knew? The dream would be our reality. The brain in the jar theory takes this idea one step further. It also proposes that everything we perceive with our senses could be the result of an experiment conducted by a higher entity, whether humans, machines, or extraterrestrials. Our brains would be in jars, literally, and all of our life experiences would be computer simulations. If this theory were true, this video you are watching right now would be sent by that supreme computer to examine your behaviors. From your perspective, we wouldn't exist. We would be just another simulation implanted in your mind. The shocking thing about this theory is that there is no concrete way to disprove it. But if the rules of our reality are created by a computer, we could find tools to disprove this false reality. Just as programming errors can be found in video games, if our reality is a simulation, it would not be perfect. We could find its faults. Phenomenon that we have considered paranormal, such as ghosts, aliens, or deities, could be errors in our reality programmed to deceive us. But we don't have to go 30 years into the future to talk about mind-controlling simulations. Today, most people are trapped in social media, dominated by recommendation algorithms that have addicted humanity more effectively than any drug. Trapped in an endless cycle of doom scrolling, millions are unable to free themselves from the neural effects caused by brief moments of highly personalized content. Each click releases dopamine in the brain, creating a highly addictive experience. Algorithms are designed to take advantage of this chemical mechanism, increasing our dependence on social media. We are slowly turning the theory of solipsism into reality.